Hi everyone, welcome to a new week in my life. I'm starting this video on Wednesday, it is not a Monday, because just the past two days are were not like vlog material. It was basically work and school, and New York had a rainstorm, so like not a rainstorm, but it was a very rainy day. So I didn't wanna like vlog, because I wasn't doing a lot of things. Um, but today, I am I start my day with my workout, and now I am actually heading to something exciting, something that's gonna happen for the first time in my life, that is going to a Chanel event on their um, store uptown on 5th Avenue. So they're presenting their new fall collection, and me and my friend Gabby are meeting there and going to the event, and I quickly wanted, I wanted to like open with the, start with this event because I feel like it's just gonna be the best start of this week. Um, I'm wearing something very masculine, but I wanted to make it more feminine with my jewelry. I am gonna show you the outfit in a second, but I need to like show you the outfit, call a neighbor, get up down because I don't have a lot of time left. And I did a very like smoky taupe brown makeup, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm into it right now. So the outfit looks like it's just black, but it, it's, it has layers. Um, I'm wearing this velvet set underneath. It is a vest, a velvet vest, but it's shorts. I love this set a lot. I wore it on my birthday this year. And this is a long blazer on top so it literally covers you in the back it looks like a dress but it's actually when you turn around you got three layers going on like this and i wore socks because it's fall now and it's cold outside which i'm happy about i'm wearing my i'm a leon loafers which i love and wanted to make it more feminine with the jewelry so i wore my chanel earrings that is very valuable to me my gold um, chunky necklace and I'm using my Chanel bag and I'm using my Chanel bag which is like actually my makeup bag because I am going to my school right after so this serves me as my make I as my laptop holder at the moment but I'm heading to uptown and this is like my makeup like I never actually do like dark makeup or smoky eye anymore, but it's Chanel and it needs a different like energy. So I woke up really allergic. So I feel a little heavy, but I'm gonna go there, have fun, see my friend, spend time, see Chanel's new collection and, and then go to school. So I'll see you there. Branding, a lot of things at the same time. Obviously, at it, you can see where the yarns overlap and create that signature pattern. 
So this idea of this is a little bit of a tip. Oh, yes. I mean, I don't want to lose these little girls. Oh, this is like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's fall it's cold i'm loving the weather right now um i just took out my one of my favorite pants these are vintage from a long time ago it's like gray and like white leg white leg um i'm wearing my chloe boots these were like almost 10 years old but i love them a lot i'm wearing a sweater knit sweater no like a top from a turkish brand academia and i am going back to wearing hats which is my favorite accessory of all time i owned so many hats and these this is from lack of color um it's an australian brand it's actually i think one of the best hat brands out there but this is like six seven years old but they still do the same style all the time so now okay i'm waiting for jesse i'm gonna talk to you guys later hi guys it's saturday it's a beautiful day in new york it's so like it's windy it's not cold it's not warm it's perfect weather i went to my workout and i i'm actually double working out today so i went to my cycle i'm now walking to get coffee and then i'm gonna go back to do my boot camp because i have been lagging like for the past few days i felt like i needed this one push and then i'm gonna go back home change and <clears throat> meet my friend jesse who probably i posted on this vlog and we are gonna um go to williamsburg and spend the whole day just checking vintage furniture for her apartment and there is a big flea market in williamsburg the one in dumbo happens on saturdays in williamsburg so i'm gonna want to check there as well this is actually a vintage ralph lauren big like large man's polo that i got from greenpoint in this vintage store called um seven wonders collective so yeah it's gonna be a very nice day it's gonna be a good day i'm excited and see you guys later i'm gonna definitely vlog the whole day because i need i need like footage to be able to post this vlog so hi guys i'm back home changed showered got ready um we are going to williamsburg as i told you and here's a little fit situation so we are gonna do a lot of walking these are my new pants from i am gia i have the purple ones that i always wear i love them a lot i need to fix the the bottom my Reeboks Daniel Guizio Reebok a very basic white tee from Ertzia and my I'm a Leon bucket hat that I got in spring hoops and my Monu bag and we gotta go um so see you guys in Williamsburg bye no, I'm gonna introduce you to my channel. <laughs> to the to the to the vlog. Yes. This is Jesse. I've been telling you guys that I have a new neighbor. Yes, that is me. <laughs> We're going to Williamsburg as I told you for the probably tenth time. But basically we are gonna do a vintage day, you know, hop from one store to another, get coffee and then go to Greenpoint to do more vintage hunt because she just moved in so we want to check like stores and find cute stuff so yeah <laughs> okay so i did a q a a couple days ago on ig and this beautiful lady here asked me what did you ask how do you stay so motivated <laughs> And we were just having a conversation that you know circled back to that subject and i thought i was i would like you know answer here because it was actually a question that comes to me often but i forget to answer q a sometimes <laughs> so how do i stay motivated one i feel like it is a very so i've been living alone for a very long time and i feel like because of living alone i'm really dependent on how i feel that day 
and if I'm not feeling okay I cannot get work done so that's like a mindset that I have like maybe because I'm a Virgo but I live on a very tight like I live on a schedule I schedule a lot of things except for my like friends time like I didn't schedule to have this Saturday with you of course but throughout the whole week from Monday till Friday I know everything that I'm gonna do those days and I really really have a big um, satisfaction to like cross that you know whatever is task I was gonna do mm -hmm. and I like to be very dedicated to my plan and schedule I don't I can't go to bed knowing that there are like work you know waiting for me or work accumulated for the next day mm -hmm. um, so that's a big you know I have a big happiness out of cold eating tasks mm -hmm. um, so I think that's my Virgo but other than that I um, it's rare that you'll see me being like I'm so tired I need to like lay down I really have taught myself over the years of you know working a lot and living alone that I like I kind of taught my body how to function in a way mm -hmm. you know it's I feel like everything is in your mind mm -hmm. and my trainer says this a lot too like your mind is your own limit mm -hmm. And even though you cannot see, everything is like... It, we are like... Humans are programmed to do a lot. Like, we are programmed to uh, multitask. We are programmed to, like, really get things done. But I feel like our emotions and our, you know, daily uh, feelings get in the way of that. And I do think that everyone has the capacity to really reprogram themselves into being like... I can get a lot done in a day and I, I'm not like saying this is a, for everyone's cup of tea it's not like I just as I said like I have big happiness out of being like this on-the-go person mm -hmm. and of course there are like times here and there where I'm like I really need to take a day off mm -hmm. and I know when that hits me it's a feeling where I feel un unmotivated like it's yeah. just a feeling of like my body is sore of like working out constantly or I look at my laptop screen and I cannot I'm like lagging and I can't finish my one single task this happens like every like 15 days and I'm like okay this weekend I'm just gonna put everything aside I'm just gonna be me mm -hmm. um, one more thing like for example you know living alone and like taking care of the home by yourself that's a major addition to regular work routine mm -hmm. i like a lot of people even my family they ask me like how do you manage all this together how do you take care of that home you know i i do everything myself like i clean i cook i you know do laundry i do dishes like i feel like as i said if i don't do them on time then it's a big anxiety because I'm an anxious mm -hmm. person I'm not yeah. like my regular state is definitely not anxious but I know deep down that I can get really high on anxiety and really overthink situations yeah. and for example I feel like restless when I know that like I need to right now like get up and do this 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 like for example I cannot do a night workout like I love working out in the morning to know that okay workout is done I can breathe one task is complete I, I'm not sounding so fun like I'm a fun person but I don't sound fun when She's I fun. say these things but this is like how I manage my life and I feel like as we grow up you know there are more and more responsibilities and there's gonna be a day where we're married and we got kids and like gonna be so much more this is even like 70 percent of what can happen you know yeah yeah but i feel like it's also understanding what you need in your day-to-day -day routine and it really sounds like you understand that within yourself and then from there you just build your own routine and you know some people need more rest than others but you know that in your busy day you're more productive than you feel yes like um I'm just like I'm happy and grateful that my body is in a really healthy place right now that it you know doesn't give me any troubles throughout the day yeah. but I've been to I've been 
through a very harsh times like especially three years ago four years ago where i'll tell you like later but mm -hmm. um where my body wasn't functioning as well and i was like really tired constantly and mm -hmm. so i know the place of life where it's like i'm so tired all the time and now looking back years later and being able to do this all the time i'm like super grateful you yeah know? i always say that like when you wake up the fact that like you got like two feet that you can walk around and like yeah that's just you know something not to take for granted i totally agree especially with health too and you know now I'm, I feel like I'm just getting older by the day but and if I'm not stretching I know that my body is just gonna like um, like whisk like whisk away it's just it's, it's gonna you know so it's it's here it's in the mind I feel yeah. like it's in the mind mind controls the body and yes. your body responds whatever you you think about yourself you know mm -hmm. I hope this answered your question <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I like that we got like a seven minute talk per portion for the vlog. So yeah, now back to fun <laughs> and back to being a Libra because she's a Libra and I'm a Libra rising. So yes. back to fun. See you guys later. <laughs> and if there's one, um, I Hi everyone, um, I realized that I didn't finish the vlog and shout an out bro, so I'm here to do that. But I just wanted to share that like today is like right now it's evening and Sunday and I'm feeling really down today, the whole day. It's just that yesterday I shot a part of, you know, a part of the vlog was about how I find motivation, how I stay motivated that conversation with Jesse that we had in the car yesterday and today is actually the exact opposite of that I'm actually feeling super tired and hit by a couple health issues which is not like the worst issues but I'm suffering a very bad teeth pain um which is like the year to 2021 has been the year of teeth pain for me like six months ago I suffered a bad um, wisdom tooth situation it really hit me bad for like a month and I had to get a like a very small operation but it's now happening all over again and today I felt like in Turkish we say I'm about to like climb the walls like to show like how painful how in pain I am and today is that day and I'm feeling so like stuck in this whole you know painful mindset and because of that I couldn't even like function and get a lot of work done it like hits my shoulders it hits my chain a uh, chain like it hits my chest um my mind I feel like mercury retrograde is hitting me hard but tomorrow's Monday. I have a very busy Monday. If I can schedule, I'm definitely running to my dentist. Um, I'm gonna wake up around six and they open by seven. So I'm gonna be like, give me an appointment like right now. And I'm gonna run there. But in the morning, I have an appointment at DMV. I'm getting my driver's license. 
and it's all the way down in Coney Island because I couldn't figure out how to schedule one in Brooklyn. Like in, in there are two DMVs in Brooklyn, so I couldn't figure out how to schedule the one close to me. There is one like 15 minutes away and the other one is like an hour away. And I'm going there around like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is exact, like it's giving me anxiety right now. If I have bored you with these three minutes of what, like, you know, talking boring, I'm so sorry. You have not come here to be bored by me, but you know, it's life. I show you the good things and I need to show you when I feel frustrated and not like myself. And one more last thing is that today, nothing is going as planned. I have been going through a lot of cancellations on my plans, not through, not because of myself, but because of the other people. And one thing that my Virgo son hates, not like I definitely don't do this to anyone, like I'm big on this, but um, not being respected for my time. So that's another rant, like rant, you know, talking not like talking boring, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoyed, except for this, you know, ending. I just needed to get this whole frustration out there because I just ordered myself like a big dinner and I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna put on a good TV show. A lot of good, like this week, I think um, you, is coming it should be this week or the next week but i'm so excited to watch the season three of that i have couple, like i'm gonna start touring um retail stores for knits this week that is a big news that is happening for 2022 and yeah so that's the update right now and i better let you go if you watch till here, thank you so much. Um, please, please, please like, subscribe, and comment. I so appreciate your um, support and help for me to grow this little baby YouTube channel. It is definitely a baby right now, but I'm showing a lot of care and I'm putting a lot of time into it. And I hope my, you know, hard work translates into these videos. I'm not a video editor, but I think I am doing a good job for a beginner. So yeah, please support. It's all appreciated. I'm here to answer every question you have. Email me, DM me, follow me. Um, yeah. So see you guys in the next video. I'm definitely posting my home design process in a couple days. So watch out for that. And I love you, and I'll talk to you, and I'll see you.